Hello YouTubers, I'm going to show you my build. I'm going to build a propane heater. I'm using a old, I think it's a 30 pound cylinder for RV. There's the propane tank. And I'm going to use a weed burner torch head. This I got at Harbor Freight for $15. Uh, there you go, model number 91033. I hooked this up yesterday to a propane tank. comes with a hose. And um, it put a flame that was about two and a half feet out the head of this. And I thought, wow, that would make a great, um, a great heater. So anyway, I have this old propane tank. And as you can see, I've removed the valve. So in order to do that, um, opened up the tank. It was mostly empty. Left, uh, let the rest of it come out. I then used my big crescent wrench and took the valve out. I want you to know that even if you let these tanks sit with the valve open, propane is heavier than air, so the propane will sink to the bottom of the tank and it won't all come out. So be very careful when you go to take the valves out of these old propane tanks. So once I got the valve out, I filled it full of water and then I drained it all out so <clears throat> that's pretty much where I was at and I went ahead and cut this little guard thing that goes around the top of the tank off and I'm going to start by cutting a hole into the propane tank just this head just unscrews here So I'm going to use this head as my burner. As you can see, it's got a little jet down in there. I think it's a size 54 drill bit. So it's a pretty small jet. And as the high pressure propane squirts in, it comes out that big hole. And then as um, as, you, as it starts to burn, it sucks air in through the backside and in through those holes and creates kind of a loud jet engine type of noise. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to basically cut a hole into the propane tank and put that down in there. The other side of the propane tank, I will cut that off. And similar to this is my diesel heater, you can see it's kind of got a inner shell and outer shell. The propane tank on this one will be the outer shell. And the inner shell, I got some of this galvanized ducting that I'm going to put inside. And so then you'll have an air barrier that will act as insulation. At least that's what I'm hoping for. And um, this little, going back to the burner, this has a metric flare fitting in it, which I don't really have access to. So I was going to modify this. Um, I'm going to tap it out to 8th inch NPT, put a close nipple in it, and then put a, uh, a reducer to go to quarter inch NPT, and then I'm going to weld that assembly onto there. So it'll go from this metric thread to a standard NPT that I can get parts for. I bought at the hardware store. Um, a needle valve and a couple other things. So the torch was $15, probably about $10 of miscellaneous fittings. And then this ducting over here behind me was about $8 at Home Depot. So I'm going to cut the video right now. I'm going to get to work and then I will give you an update shortly. Thanks. Welcome back. Um, in the past few minutes what I've done is I've added to this nozzle um, an eighth inch nipple and then that's a eighth inch to quarter inch reducer and so I've cleaned all that up I'm about to go weld all that together <laughs> on the propane tank I had set this nozzle centered it set it on top of it traced it out cut it on the inside because there's a little lip on the nozzle here then on the other side, 
you can see here I've cut that out. So I'm going to take another break, put my camera back on the charger. It's about to go dead. I'm going to weld this up. I'm going to weld it in place in there. I'm going to let everything cool. I'm going to hook it up to some propane and I'm going to test it before I finish this thing out. Okay, welcome back. Uh, last time I was here about 30 minutes ago. Um, I was about to weld on this fitting on the back, which I did. I hooked it up to a needle valve with a 3 8 flare. This is a high pressure propane hose that I use for the conversion of my vehicles. Runs over here to a standard barbecue tank. I actually went and took this off of my lawnmower. It also runs on propane. Uh, you can check out my other YouTube videos for that. And so I added a handle and then I added some feet on the other side right there for it to stand on. And so let me light this thing for you. I'm going to get a electronic igniter for this thing. Turning on my gas. Turn on this needle valve a little bit. So you can see the flame right there, it's on low. And you can hear it firing up there. you have it. Uh, I've got uh, several things to finish on it still. I was going to try putting that sleeve down it. I'll probably wait for some daylight tomorrow and uh, I think I might need to drill some holes in the rear of that to allow some more airflow in because I know that that thing is not burning as hot as it was before I put it into this propane tank, just as the weed burner, it was putting out much, much more heat, much more violent than it is right now. But currently, right here, I can feel quite a bit of heat coming out. I would say it's probably not as much as that 55,000 BTU diesel heater in there, but it's probably fairly close right now. And I think once I get some more air to it in the back, I think it'll take care of that. And also, until I get that sleeve put in, um, that flame will be coming up right here. The steel is going to be very hot. I can see it starting to bake the old paint off of it. So, that is my heater. So far, I got about two hours into it and about $25 in materials. So, check back later and uh, maybe I'll give some updates of the modifications I do to it and see what happens. Thanks for watching.